Hey guys, we are here inside the cache cave right now, and Lisa has just finished up her uh, geocaching 101 seminar. How did that go? Oh, it went fantastic. Yeah. We had quite a few new folks. They read about it in the newspaper. One gal said she found out about it on Facebook, uh -huh. wanted to learn how about geocaching, so they came. You guys, you had like standing room only, and people were packed in and talking to you afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, do you always get that kind of reception, and did you get a lot of questions and things? Yeah, we had a lot of really good questions. Um, 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 not always that great a reception, especially if I'm teaching at like a class, so uh, I look like a substitute teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for this event, you know, folks really wanted to know what it was all about, and so they came and they learned, and they're stoked. I think we're going to have some new cashers. I think so, too. Yeah. And it looks like uh, all the veterans hung around afterwards, and we have a really nice event with yeah. really nice um, goodies, and Sean has already taken advantage of the sugar that's available oh, back there. Sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how it is yeah. at geocaching events. But we want to take you on a little tour right now so you get an exclusive inside tour unless you come and visit which I highly encourage you to do yeah. into the cash cave let's take a look at some of the products that are available here so let's take a look at what we got over here first yeah well we'll get started right along here our window display we've got some hats and things from geocaching.com and um, the game cash me if you can we're a reseller for them that's a really fun game yeah. we do game nights as well for that oh uh, here at the cash cave here at the cash cave. nice yeah nice. Okay. yeah a real popular one is right after Thanksgiving uh -huh. so it's a quick nice way to get away from the family for a little bit and come visit with your geocaching family that's on the holiday uh, that's yeah. an awesome idea yeah All right and then of course the cash crate so this is our monthly subscription box for geocaching gear. And we've got a couple samples of a couple different months mm -hmm. out here. Um, this was our very first one back in February when we first launched. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got May and I believe this is July coming here. And um, August will be shipping right after the block party. We'll be getting August shipped out. Okay, so some people are going to get a, a, an exciting surprise uh, yeah. in the mail after, right after the block party. Absolutely. Very yeah. nice. All right, what else we got going on here? Um, well, we've got a great Right in the Rain display. Mm -hmm. um, the Right in the Rain folks, they're actually a Washington State company as well. They're out near um, Tacoma area. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, okay. yeah, they're wonderful people. They're really dedicated to outdoor work and play mm -hmm. as well. And they actually shipped us all of these containers. Oh, okay. Um, that they were free. We just had to pay freight, which wasn't much across the country. Okay. Yeah, so we can display a lot of their different um, products or products that we put together that use right in the rain materials as well. Now, some people may not uh, realize what the significance of a right in the rain notebook and their products are. They might just think it's a brand name. Uh, what is it? Right. Well, it's waterproof paper. So it's special paper. It is recyclable, so you can treat it like regular paper. Mm -hmm. But if you were to say drop this in the ocean for a week, it would be fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Can't do that with a regular uh, notebook. No, not at all. No. And they make really perfect um, geocache logbooks. Is that what this is this that what this display is yeah. all about? Yeah, this is a demonstration um, exactly how the right in the rain works. So um, we've got a notebook here and you can write on it if you'd like to and then it's just been sitting here soaking for weeks. Wow and it can get as wet as as the, it's being shown here and uh, it still won't it still won't tear or, or go bad. Right. Yeah, right. Okay. Yep. Very yep. Nice. Yeah. All right. And they also do the Fisher Space Pen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these will write, you know, upside down, zero gravity, freezing weather on wet paper. So this is sort of a combo of, of two companies, Fisher Space Pen, who makes that amazing cartridges that write upside down and write in the rain. And it looks like they're doing some uh, right. really cool colors. Right. And they're um, packaged together. Yeah. It's kind of mm -hmm. co-branded. And yeah, they're now coming out with a bright orange and a pink one, okay. um, which is fantastic. Fantastic. I'm always, you know, geocachers, we never lose pens, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I like the bright colors. It's, yeah. it's almost like the black ones or the camouflage ones are designed to be lost. Yeah, so you have to buy another one. So you have to yeah. buy another one, but I like the bright orange one. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, these are great. They're selling really well. Good. We just got these in right before Woodstock, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. What else we got here? So over here, this is our trackable area. So we've got lots of different geocoins, all the different trackables, the travel bugs, the trackable mustaches. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, the satellites and of course the um, the travel bug. Okay. So you can buy them right here in the store. And then moving along this way, different geocoins that we've minted and um, cashkins, of course. All the different. I think we have every cashkin up here. 
And here's an exclusive. Ah. Brand new for the cash crate. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. These aren't on the website yet. So. Okay. Uh, but they'll be coming out. Um, and they are trackable. Okay. Yeah. Is that a jackalope? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got all sorts of characters up here. We do. Yeah. I, I actually didn't put these together, so I'm not sure what's here. Oh, this is a phoenix. That's a phoenix. Yeah. So that's another legendary character. And then we've got kittens, puppies, bunnies. Oh, and I've always liked these, the techno tags. I explain these because they've got the QR codes on them. Right. Yeah. So those are smartphone friendly. So you can use the QR code here. You can snap that with your QR code reader and it will take you directly to the trackable page. That's a nice convenience. And, and so many people have, uh, and oh, this one does the same thing. Same thing, but in a decal form. Yeah, yeah, and so many people have smartphones nowadays. That makes it really convenient for most people to be able to go directly to wherever that URL is pointing. Right. And this is, these are kind of fun. I actually put one of these in um, at Rachel on the ET Highway. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the Alien. Okay. And it's there with all the other trackables on the wall, one similar to this. Nice. And I get a lot of finds, a lot of hits on it. Excellent. That's yeah. a great idea to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do you have here? So these are nano earrings. Check this out. I saw these earlier and I like <laughs> You know, and they're not that expensive. It's not like, you know, expensive jewelry, jewelry, jewelry level prices. They're actually reasonably priced. Yeah. And they're nano earrings. So I guess in a pinch, you can hide two caches uh, at, a, at, a, at, a, at the drop of a hat because you've got two nanos hanging from your ears. Right, right. And they have logs inside of them as well. <laughs> oh, they're real nanos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you could even use them as maintenance if you needed to. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. So and those are not available on our website. They're uh -huh. only available available here in the cash cave and occasionally we take them to events. Too. Okay, so either you need to show up an event where Lisa happens to bring one or you need to drop by the cash cave. Yeah. Okay, so what else do we have? So this is just my front office area. So um, it's generally my desk, but it's available to whomever is staffing the cave, um, any of my team members while they're, they're working here too. And our, our cash wrap, we actually took a few more of the uh, right in the rain crates and so this is our checkout area for, for shoppers. Okay. All right, we've got another nice display over on this side. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's over here. Yeah, so this is just a, kind of our extra items that don't hang well. We put them on the shelf. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some different displays and, uh, you know, your tools of the trade. Um, your magnetic thing. Um, like for searching underneath things. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Extendable, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I should also point out, right behind you, right, as you walk in or out the door, this is our um, cashier corner. So we keep track of all of the current events that are coming up. They're generally in order. We try to keep them in order, okay. a, a time frame-wise. Nice, okay. Yeah, like this the very top one is today, where we were just here at the meet and greet. Uh -huh. And um, then we've got handouts and your card. Look at this right here. There it as is. You go out. All right. Obviously, a sign of quality in class right yes. there. Yes. <laughs> so, this is uh, most everything here is free information or library items they can check out too. Oh, other okay. So, they can, it's like, they can check it out and bring it back. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right, right. Okay. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. And then moving back this way again, okay. it's more items that um, we sell. So, this area is mostly geocache containers, um, nanos. Um, the bolts that we make. A good display of the bolts and the rocks and our tricky cash packs. Oh, uh, we've heard of that on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is really popular. This is the evil cable cache. <laughs> and how does that work? Where do you where do you install it? So yeah, that, that this little tiny piece here is where the geocache is. Okay. So the, your log rolls up inside of this, uh -huh. and it's a double female end, and you, the cable part is a double male end, and that screws together. So it hides the thing in, uh, inside. Okay. Yeah, and then it comes with this little uh -huh. piece that you can attach it to say a post or, or something like that. So it just looks like a piece of coaxial cable. Nice. Just looped over the ground. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. that's yet yet another step in something like the sprinkler caches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it looks like it belongs there. Mm -hmm. That is great. Absolutely. Oh, and this one here. Okay. <laughs> yep. The yep. gum cache. Yep. Gum cache. It's magnetic. Okay. So it has a nano inside where the cache goes. All right. But it's housed within a piece of fake gum. Now, are these uh, gum made in Seattle, uh, just, just peeled off of the gum wall? Yes, we make trips out there quarterly, and we <laughs> peel them off the wall. <laughs> yeah. Not really, yeah. just so you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, very good, but that would definitely yeah. be something that maybe somebody wouldn't even want to touch. No, probably not. Yeah. 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 No, these are not really pre-chewed. <laughs> yeah. They're not pre-chewed gum. No. Okay. 
And uh, this, um, of course, is our very first product that we developed was Dr. B's Cash Repair Kit. And Dr. B is here this evening, so we might be able to get a hello from him. Oh, well. nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Um, and oh, these are really nice. Um, they're made by another local Washington State casher. Nice. And it's Geonauts is the company, and they're different lanyards. Um, she also makes bracelets, other paracord products. Um, and these are trackable. The bigger ones are actually trackable. And they, they sell gangbusters, and so they're really fun to take to events, especially when we're traveling abroad, you know, further out, out of state. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very colorful and different, uh, different designs as well. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And they have got all different types of um, attachments that go with them, too. Okay. So. And there's different tools that you can add and buy separately too. Okay. Yeah. And then we're also a dealer for Garmin and Magellan. Oh, wow. So we've cool. got a couple different GPS units. Some of them are sample units that um, that, that work. Mm -hmm. So we can, you go out in the parking lot, see how they work, um, nice. get a feel for the operating system so people can try them out. Find what, you know, be sure that they, they get what they really want. And they get comfortable with the uh, device. Right, okay. right. Yeah. And then we've got um, the Verb, which is like a GoPro, but it's made by Garmin. Oh, so nice. it's GPS enabled. Oh, so are your your videos somehow uh, they've got some kind of marking on them so you can tell where it, where it was shot? Right, mm -hmm. yeah. You can add that as an extra data layer to your video. So you can actually see your elevation, your speed, your direction, nice. the path that you took while you were actually filming it. Right, yeah. And, yeah. and exactly where you were when you crashed on your mountain bike with the thing on your helmet. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll know right where that happened. Exactly where that happened. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then we just have a little bison display over here. Okay. Uh, we ran out of room in the new cave. <laughs> so. al al always popular, though, bison tubes. Absolutely, always right. popular. Yeah. So we've got a bunch of people who are sort of congregating and hanging around right now. Geocachers love hanging around each other, especially at events where there is food and other geocachers. But I see a back door over there. there uh, is a back door. What is behind the back door? Well, come on this way, I'll show you. All right, let's head on back. All right, so we're heading to the back room of the uh, cash cave, and this looks like a place where the operation actually happens, where uh, a lot of things go on actually literally behind the scenes. So let's find out what's going on back here. Yeah, well, this is what we call the warehouse, or the, uh, one aspect, it's one part of the, the heart of the cave. I mean, the true heart is uh, what's up front, sure. where everybody gets to hang out. But back here is where we do all of our assembly, all of the storage of our products, and all of our shipping of them as well. Right. And it's also overflow event space. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. if, you, if you need it, you can use it for that. So uh, what are some of the things that go on back here as far as uh, assembly? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Um, walk this way. All right. Yeah. So back here, um, on this side of the cave, we have mostly dis different pieces that we put together to make assemblies. Okay. So it could be, you know, one piece or like a bolt that has multiple parts that go into it. Okay. Or our newbie kits, which have lots of different, different parts to make the actual newbie kit. So we try to keep them labeled well so we know all of these products are the different pieces that go into making our yeah. newbie kits, okay. which are super popular. We sell a lot of these, especially on Amazon, um, to new new cashers. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're gonna find a real strange collection. We also keep track of all of our assemblies. All the little parts and things? Right, so our inventory level, so we know when we put together a newbie kit, we know all the parts that go into it, so we can keep track of that. Wow. So, yeah, it's a lot of detail. <laughs> and do you have, uh, is it just yourself, or do you have some elves and other people other cashers that are helping you out as well. <laughs> yeah, we have quite a team actually. Okay. Yeah, I've got two folks, uh, Ross and Diana, mm -hmm. that are um, are my main team members okay. that come in quite often, and they also um, run the cave too. If I'm not here. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. for when we're open for our retail hours, and then I've got about three other folks that come in on a rotating basis depending on their schedules. Okay. And it's, amazingly, we have a lot of volunteers. They're just like, hey, you know, Wanna we just happen by. to be in the area. Um, they might put together cash crates for a day or um, assemble other things because it can be fun. We try to keep it fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then just more storage back this way, so lots of different items. Okay. Um, oh, and we're also um, the storage area for our local club, so we keep all the different um, things that the Washington State Geocaching Association, our Inland Empire oh. chapter. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of it's stored over here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a handy spot, and we keep it close to the back door, so they can just run in, grab what they need. 
um, and then get back out to an event or a picnic or a camp out or something like that. Nice, very yeah. nice. All right. Yeah. And what's this? This looks like the world's largest official geocache. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you were at Woodstock and came in the front gate, uh -huh. you walked through this okay. or around it. Yeah. This is actually from Woodstock. Nice. Now, who, who assembled this? Because I was looking at the detail on the other side, and it's really impressive that it looks a great deal like an ammo can latching system. It does, yeah. yeah. It was um, DS Vaughn and Princess Trouble. Mm -hmm. They were the hosts for um, Woodstock Incarnation. Mm -hmm. And they put it all together. And they, I'm not sure if they had help or not. I don't know the, those exact details, but mm. they ended up with it. Yeah. And so they have brought it out to lots of different mega events, um, block parties. And they brought it out for when we first opened up the, the cave 2.0, the cave before this one. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. And um, I, they said that they'd be happy to bring it out if we kept it. Okay. <laughs> they were <laughs> tired of it. Yeah, yeah. All right. So what we did, we put it on wheels. Ah, okay. So I can actually move it. Ah, very nice. Yeah, very it nice. Weighs, it weighs a lot, oh, and it was always in the way wherever it ended up being. How can so, you get this anywhere, though? You must have a huge truck in order to move it if you need to. It comes apart. Oh, it does. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. So, so it, it can get go flat? Yeah, 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 but it's still really big pieces, so you still say. need a big truck to move it. It doesn't okay. fit in our caboose. I <laughs> <Yeah>. wouldn't <laughs> yeah. think so. No. Right. Yeah. And so what's uh, on these shelves here? There's tons and thin, tons of things. It looks like uh, basically what we've seen in the outer store. Exactly, yeah. On this side, it's mostly finished product. So we've got everything ready here to either move out to the, the front store, the, the um, cave out there, the retail part, mm -hmm. or um, when we're shop shipping orders to our customers. I see. Okay. Either wholesale or retail. We go shopping back here to put their orders together. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay, a lot of stuff. Very well supplied. It looks like it's really well organized as well. So lots of stuff to choose from. Yeah, yeah, we have to be. We just have so many different things. Yeah, and some of us don't see colors really well also yeah. that work on my team, so we cut, we have to label everything very clearly. Very clearly, like yeah. with, with the colors of what the things are as well? That, exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep. Well, this looks like an interesting area. Let's see, uh, what's this behind us here? Yeah, this is our sh a packing and shipping area. So as we um, go shopping in the cave and, and get um, everything that we need for the different orders that we're putting out, uh, we've got all the different boxes and quite a few boxes over here mm -hmm. to put them in, package them very carefully. Luckily, a lot of our things that we do ship are pretty sturdy, uh -huh. but still we want them to you know, not have a box collapse on yeah. them when they're shipping because we, we do ship all over the world. Wow. And uh, we've got some different scales depending on how much they weigh. And then we ship them out. And we've got daily pickup with um, FedEx, UPS, and the, U the post office as well. Okay. So if somebody were, were to order something from Cash Advance, the website, mm -hmm. uh, this is where you pack it up, ship it up, and they get it within a few days. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. We always try to ship within one business day. Oh, nice. Yeah. And if we can't, we will let you know um, why. Yeah. Um, perhaps we're on a, at an event or something. And yeah. so we'll be bringing the merchandise back so then we can ship it out to you. But yeah, this is, this is where it all happens. If you make an order, we're going to be right putting, pulling the different items into your, your package, packaging it up, and then running a shipping label on our shipping computer over here and getting it out the door. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Hey, I noticed a huge sign way up there, and yeah. it's on the inside of this building. Where, where did that come from? That came from our last location. Oh, okay. That's what was over the door out front, so you could find us. Okay. Unfortunately, it's a completely different dimensions of the box that is available to us here at this location. Oh, I was going to say, because there is one out there. There is. Yeah. yeah, we had to have that one installed um, a couple of, about a week or so ago, that one went in. Yeah. Um, so we paid for this and had it built, and of course, nobody else can use it. Yeah. <laughs> so we took it out of the old location and Ross and another cashier, Marjade, built that frame for it just oh, a couple nice. of days ago and hung it up on the wall. Very classy. I like it. Looks yeah. looks looks really nice and gives it a nice uh, tone to the, the, the back room here of the new cash cave. Absolutely. They did a great job. All right. So one of the cool things about caching events is people tend to uh, feel like family, but in this case, it is family. <laughs> and I'll let them introduce uh, themselves. So, so who is this? Okay. I'm JD. This is my father, Bruce. And my stepmother, Karen, and of course, my wife, the lovely lookout, Lisa. All right. Mm -hmm. And are you guys cashers yourself? We do. Yes. yes. All right. All right. Yes. And, and uh, are you going to be at the uh, opening event tomorrow as yes, well? We going are. around to the thing? Absolutely. Things? Yes, we are. Now, do they tell you where the caches are, or do you <laughs> no, have to go find out? No, not yet. We're going to have to look like it for, for everybody else does. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to do a little more touring around here as we uh, look at a little bit more around the cache cave. <laughs> 
Thank, and thanks for saying hi. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Lisa, well, thank you for taking us around on this incredible tour of the inside of the Cash Cave. I highly encourage anybody who sees this video to come on out here to Spokane and visit the Cash Cave directly. It's got some amazing things. You can feel, hold, and touch some of the items and really see what it's all about. So thanks for your time. I know I want you to be able to get back there and be a hostess to the other people who are still at the event. But uh, thanks again for your time. Oh, thank you. It was great to have a chance to talk and walk you around. All right.